How's that, eh? Just had a truck uh, throw a stone up and smash the window. Uh, it is just before Easter weekend, and I'm on my way over to Fakatani to go for a hunt with Sam. Uh, I'm just going to shoot up the road from here to Hamel's Telpo and pick up some supplies. And then, yeah, we'll be on our way to uh, Fakatani and go for a hunt tomorrow morning. See you there. Boom, so there we are in uh, Hamel's Telpo. Got Saren here, he's opened the doors for me after hours and uh, picked up the crispy boots and a bunch of freeze dried. Worth hanging around for, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll hit the road now and uh, shoot over to Fakatane. Andrew's hurting and I'm happy. Old chili dog. Where's the deer, chili? Find him. Where's the dog? Good Where's girl. the deer? Boom, and just like that, we're back in the bush. We, uh, Got some access through some private land, so we just uh, spent like an hour walking through there. We've just reached the bush line now. Got about another maybe two hour walk to get to a hut. And then it's on from there. The river looks nice and clear, so there's a chance for uh, catch a trout. Hopefully they're roaring. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the deer are roaring. <laughs> Yeah, so we made it to the hut. Um, we are not alone, we're sharing it with a couple of girls, which is uh, not as bad as sharing it with a couple of hunters. Um, took us about four hours to get in here, three and a half, four hours to get in here. Um, yeah, we're just kind of sitting up here and we went for a little fish down the river and missed the fish, so we'll have to have another go tomorrow morning. Um, possibly going for a hunt this afternoon. There's a big slip about a kilometer up the river. So we'll try to have a look at that, possibly tonight or tomorrow morning. sit here in glass for a bit. It's getting pretty dark so we won't be here for long. Now we head back to the hut. There's a pretty massive slip. There's a little clearing on the other side of the river too. quiet morning for us so far uh, it's super windy the uh, trout I missed last night is just up here so hopefully we'll get another shot at it um, yeah there's heaps of trout in this river um, but we haven't really cast any but this one up here that we cast was probably one of the biggest ones we've seen. So hopefully he's still hanging around and didn't hurt his mouth too bad yesterday. 
Alright, um, hopefully I can get a cast off in this wind. Well, missed that one again. So I'm just gonna go upstream a little bit, see if I can find another one. There is another pretty big pool up here, so hopefully there's one sitting in there. Hey? Where are you? Just here. I can't see. 
yeah boy <laughs> scared the shit out of me with that shot but um yeah got it done and uh lucky it fell down fell down to us yo nice job mate yeah so nice little six pointer there for sam Aye. who was roaring pretty hard at the uh at the end there Whew. yeah so um the deer's continued on its path down the hill and we're just going to uh, go down now and process it. Uh, still a little bit of light left, it's a bit dark inside the bush here but hopefully we can get down there and see what we're doing. Alright so uh, we made it down to the creek, uh, it turns out we're quite a lot higher than we thought we were, call it buck fever if you will. So we've um, made it down to the river, it's yeah pitch black. So we're just going to gut it and then we'll come back in the morning and debone it and uh, pack it out of here. Alright, it's the morning after. Um, we're just going to smash out some coffee and then I guess we better explain what happened yesterday. So for coffee we just use dairy beans. It's a, um, like a drip coffee. New Zealand made up in Auckland. You order it and I'll send it out to you. I don't know, the next day or the day after. Uh, if you're in Auckland you can go pick it up. Uh, so we just boiled some water and we've let it uh, cool down a bit. And you just pour it over a couple of times, two or three. And there you have it, beautiful fresh coffee every time. This place is too hot. No, oh, that's actually perfect, eh? Okay. It doesn't taste nasty or bitter at all. Like if you get one from like um, McDonald's or BP or something, it tastes yeah, like bitter. Yeah, really. yeah, right. So <laughs> yesterday we kind of went from tilting around the river to in the middle of roaring up a stag. So pretty much what happened is uh, we spent all day in the hut. <laughs> we we slept most of the day. We left the hut about one o'clock in the afternoon. We went down to the river, had a little bit of a fish just in the hut pools. Came into the hut, slept some more, and then uh, around what four o'clock, mm -hmm. four or five o'clock, we decided that we um, better go shoot a deer to keep our wives happy. <laughs> so yeah, we took off up the river. We we're going to try see if we could find one on a slip or in one of the clearings up the river. And yeah, we got up probably what a k and a bit up the river. Mm -hmm. Heard one roaring quite close to the river, and yeah, Sam will, t Sam will take what happened from there. Fuck, we thought it was close to the river. <laughs> <laughs> I think it started off close to the river, and we um, spooked the hinds, and he chased after them. And yeah, it took him a while to try and challenge us. Yeah, so basically, we just boosted up this waterfall, following his roars. I was trying not to roar too much, so I knew the general direction he was. Um, I thought he was up in this big basin. So just pushed up there as fast as we could really. Um, I knew that darkness was coming and uh, we were gonna run out of shooting light pretty quickly. So yeah, just pushed up. I, I roared probably three or four times on the way up the hill just to help locate him. Um, we ended up having three stags going, which left me with the uh, the conundrum of which one to chase, but I stuck to the, the original one. And um, yeah, like it, I got with him, you know, a hundred meters of him and he was he was really, really, really worked up. Started to do the, the double roar. Um, I roared on top of his roar, which made him even more pissed off. He, um, but he wasn't moving towards me. He was, he was staying put. Um, I got with him. 20 meters, I roared once. I was just crossing the top of the waterfall on the slipperiest rock I could find, and uh, I heard him coming. So I basically stood there and um, and didn't move again, just waited for him. And yeah, he came right in, maybe 10, 15 meters from me, and 
that was the last thing he did. Then we had, <laughs> then we had <laughs> probably one of the uh, the harder recoveries I've ever done. Didn't realise how high we'd climbed. Actually, the, it's amazing how much adrenaline you get when um, when you're chasing a roaring stag. But we were bloody high, and it took us I don't know an hour and a bit to get him down the waterfall. Yeah, yeah. So we basically just dragged him down this freaking 45 degree waterfall for an hour and a bit. Um, until we've got him down to the river, which is where he is at now, cooling up, cooling off overnight. So we're about to go and uh, process him. Mean. Yeah. yeah. So we'll uh, go up there now and process him. Probably just gonna debone it and pack it out. Probably do the legs as well. Everything. Yeah. As he's much pretty, as we can. He's pretty. Uh, he's pretty like rutted up so we're going to uh just turn them into salamis yeah and he was uh, shot pretty much through the chest um he must have clipped the bone on the way through there and the heart and all that is all just destroyed so i'm not sure all what's going to be left of the back straps and the what tender lines oh the, the, the eye fillets the eye fillets but amazingly yeah, enough um, amazingly enough the gut bag wasn't punctured at all but yeah the um a big chunk of bone went straight through the heart a lot of damage from the old 270. Oh. oh, I wasn't recording. Hope so. Uh, here we are back with the stag I shot last night. Nice little uh, even six pointer. He's in pretty good nick, being so early in the raw, so we're going to take as much meat off him as we can, process him into salamis and sausages for our families. Um, the next job is going to be getting him in that tree above us so we can bone out all the meat so yeah we'll, we'll carry the head out to show um show our kids if if we can but we're gonna have pretty heavy loads shit okay. fuck he's fucking wrecked All right, might stop you there before it gets too more graphic. Uh, we'll check back in with you once we've uh, boned it all out. Yeah, so that's all the meat boned out there. Back legs, back legs, front legs, some more meat over there, more meat down there. Main. Yep. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's it for another video. No fish this trip, but a fairly nice stag. Um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it with your mates on Facebook or whatever. Yeah, we're out.